The New South Wales Department of Main Roads wanted to build 350 miles of freeways crossing the city in six directions, all converging on the city centre. Freeways had already affected the rocks in North Sydney. People from all over came together to stop the next stage, the Northwestern and Western Expressways. They would have evicted 80,000 people. These houses were the front line. After that, row after row, community after community, would be knocked down, scattered, and destroyed. The BLF placed green bands on all inner city freeway construction. On the other side of the city in Willamaloo, another freeway had cleared 400 residents from a community already divided by a railway viaduct. An additional 4,000 people were also evicted to make way for numerous development plans. These projects would create vast canyons of office blocks and hotels. 90,000 people would work in a 13-hectare area. Adequate transport and urban services had not even been considered. People holding out in Willamaloo formed an action group and successfully requested a green ban. Also threatened was a low-rent area on the cliffs above Woolloomooloo, beautiful Victoria Street. It overlooked the city and harbor, was adjacent to King's Cross, and inhabited by wharfies, sailors, artists, single people, and families. A new developer and owner of Victoria Point Proprietary Limited, Frank Tiemann, was anxious to make his mark and a fortune with three great towers of high rise. In just one week, he evicted 400 people. I walked straight to where I lived, and my mother was sitting on the front doorstep, and she was, uh, you know, very, very upset. She'd been, you know, like most of the people were. Then that I'd start to see coming out of the woodwork, you know, they were all just sort of dazed and, and, and upset.